just keep on like you're getting angrier angrier like over the day because nothing nothing is going your way and I can promise you I've hit my pinky toe in every single furniture in my house like twice this day I mean like Any, anyway, I sat by. I sat down by my computer and I was reading your comments. I was angry, but your comments make me like they got me in a better mood because you were so sweet and right, so so sweet things to me, and I love it. So I was like getting in a better mood, and, and then. I saw this comment from my lovely, lovely girls. Two girls, one mukbang. I think you say it like that, mukbang, mukbang. Anyhow, love you girls. Uh, but they've written a long comment, like they always do. And then they're put like... They've written a Swedish swear word. And I was like... I really should do like a swear word video with Swedish swear words but then I was like no <laughs> you can't like do a ASMR video with swear words and then I hit my toe once again in the furniture like the third time and then I was like swearing a lot and I was thinking yeah maybe I should like make make a is more swear words video for you guys I mean like if you learn if to all my non-Swedish viewers if you learn Swedish swear words you can swear in Swedish in your country without anybody know that's a swear word you can like scream Swedish swear words when you get angry and like in the middle of the town and nobody would ever know if, of course, if they're not like Swedes there, they were like, oh my god, swearing. God. No, they would not. They would probably get surprised by hearing Swedish swear word, like in the middle of, I don't know what country you're from, Australia.
rest of the world thinks Sweden is like an innocent country with like kind, like innocent people like me. No, I'm not innocent. <laughs> like we have, we are known for ABBA, and they are like innocent. And uh, but Swedes swear a lot, like a lot, a lot. I'm living in North Sweden, like we swear very much, <laughs> like every meaning we say, there's like a swear word of some kind, <laughs> and I swear a lot, too much, I swear too much, but it's like everybody swears in my town, and that like, everybody's used to it, they like, it's like reg regular words, swear words are like regular words to us um, and we have some goody goody words that can be handy in some situations and I am going to teach you them ASMR style like doing some camera touching like stroking your face and then swearing you too <laughs> some finger fluttering I got this game on right now fluttering 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 and yeah I hope you guys can all enjoy this video and you know it's like not super 100% super serious because I'm not like a super serious person I like to joke around and yeah have fun so let's Swedish swear words and I will try to put them like write them here like when I edit I'm gonna put them over here so you can see like I don't know if you can hear me pronounce them like good enough but you're gonna see so you can like write them down and like have them handy when you need them you can like have a little note with Swedish swear words and like yeah what should I say today when you get angry <laughs> oh my God. so with no further ado let's get started and I hope you enjoy my super dry lips we have had so many cold weeks in Sweden my lips are like non-existing like a dry lump in my face I should really really keep them some moisturizing lotion but I'm not good at that as you can hear on my really dry fluttering fingers right now but I make a good sound so anyhow let's get started as I said in Sweden we have a lot of swear words but I'm gonna I'm not teach you like the worst ones because I'm gonna get banned from like YouTube if I do so um, uh, but I'm gonna teach you uh, I will start with the innocent ones and then I'm gonna work my way up to the little more like the ones that's a bit more bad oh nasty so First word I'm gonna teach you is a word that we in Sweden use like I would say like if you like yeah. how would I describe this if you are like gonna watch a TV show and you miss it you can say this word you get like a little bit like disappointed like but you're not like super angry then you say this word and the word is fasen 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 you say it like, you say it like fasen <laughs> and then i i can't like i can't like find a word that's representing this word is like fasen, fasen. I don't think it's a real word. 
part is just like an expression of Swedish. Yeah, I think it's just an expression. So I can't. Um, now I've lost my word again. I can't. Oh Lord, I need to. I'm sorry. I need to. like ghosts in here throwing stuff at me from what the hell yeah this is ghost hour with ASMR mysterious getting hit in the head by things flying around in here okay like a ghost it's a ghost in here that doesn't like swear words maybe <laughs> anyhow the next word is also kind of a Mild, it's a little bit more powerful than fasen, but it's like mild. You can say it in the streets, nobody cares. And you use this word like also when you're like stressed and something is like bothering you, like you're stressed. We say you're on your way to work, you need to take bus to work and you can't miss this bus and then when you are in the hallway and you're like can't find your wallet then you say this word like when you you think yes i have them in my other pants and you have to run through your house to to get your other pants and like get your wallet and you're stressed you say this word you like touching your pockets like and then you are like, yeah, I have them in my, I have my wallet in my other pants. And then you say, jäklar. Jäklar. And I'm gonna take my phone here to see if we can get a translate on the word jäklar. Yeah. The translator say that the word jäklar means... Devils. But I don't know. I don't know if you can say it means devils, like devils in Sweden. We're gonna come to this because, yeah, but Jäklar and devils are not like the best. 
best translate in my ears. I wouldn't translate Jekla into devils, but Google Translate knows more than me, maybe. Jekla, and you say it like Jekla, Jekla, and you're stressing away to get your wallet. And yeah, Jekla, Jekla. Swedish, uh, the Swedish letter A. If you can see the A with the, the two dots above it, that you say A, 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 A. Say after me now. A, 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 stressed and you forgot and you fo you have forgotten something you like check <laughs> like in English when you say damn that's like check for us <laughs> damn check so you know when you, you when you feel like you want to use the word damn you say check so very mild that you can say in the streets and nobody would like care uh, that's also like yeah, you say it like in the same um, situations like if you're stressed uh, stressed and have forgotten something and like so blood <laughs> you can also say it if you drop something like drops your wallet on the floor when you're stressed you can say so blood so blood so blood so blood so blood so blood and now i'm going to google translate that word and see what it says so blood Translate can't uh, like uh, translate that word so blood and I don't like I'm thinking of the word so bell uh, and that's like saber like no this doesn't make any sense I guess so blood doesn't have like um, English translate Swear, you 
use the word soplar. Slap in your 
face if you said that like yes you know it would have sounded like for a bus cut to a snake and that's like damn you look good <laughs> no like no 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 don't say that like just use for a cut when you are a little, little bit mad and if you are an old person you can use it Also really 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 like mild that's not even a swear word I'm not using this word that this is also like old people word like old people that don't want to swear they use this word and the word is funken 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 and when you use this you're like not even mad like it's not like a mad word but it's like a mild swear word in Sweden and I'm gonna google translate it but I don't think it has like it has like no meaning what the the translation says that the funken means the hell no it doesn't what no that's not like the right translation It sounds more bad than funkin. Funkin is like like the most like you can say funkin to like anybody and they wouldn't care because it has like it almost no swear word like hair flying around in here. Funkin, funkin, funkin. That one you can use if you want to because. It's not a swear word, almost. Like, it's a swear word to really old people. Young people doesn't use funkin. I've never heard, like, anybody under, like, 70 that used funkin as a swear word. No, 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 no. Next word is like a bit more bad. That's like a real Swedish swear word. Like uh, the ones I've teach you now are like very very mild, barely swear words. But now we're coming to a word that's definitely a Swedish swear word, and it's really common here in Sweden to say this. And you use it like in every situation when you were getting mad. Like if you drop something, if something broke, you you swear like this. And uh, the word is fun, fun, fun. You like say the a like this. Fun, 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 fun.
also be a really like powerful swear words when you're angry. And yeah, so I feel that has a little bit more like impact than the word damn. But who knows? That's my like opinion. Next word I have for you, it's like, um, it's uh, also a very common swear word in Sweden, like farm, this one, it's used a lot, but it's like even more bad, this is like starting to get a bit more, like to the bad, bad words, and the word is jävlar. a bit more bad so if you're really angry like if you yeah if you're really really angry you say jävla in Sweden like if you like drop your phone on the floor you say jävla because you're like really like angry because you could have like destroyed your screen or something then you say and if I take I take my phone and google it this word also have um, a translation 
translation to English. Now I'm writing translation because I say translation because you know. like shit also like crap yeah maybe but wheat is like the Swedish word for shit wheat. and then you can combine it like when you hit your little pink toe in the furniture and it hurts like helvetes jävla you can say helvetes jävla wheat that's like devil's shit and that's like the word combination I use a lot like when today I've said it a lot when I eat my little pinky toe in the furniture's all day long I have shouted helvetes jävla wheat helvetes jävla wheat My neighbors might think that I'm like summon the devils or something. Lord. No, I know Swedish people are very used to swear words because we like swearing all the time, so I don't think my neighbors like cares. They're used to my swearing. Like hell again, you can say 
Helvetes jävlar skit, and now I'm out of here.